Hi, I'm Dr. Steve Darrington, Specialist in Interventional Orthopedics with HealthLink Medical Center, Regenex. A lot of people come into our office with shoulder complaints. We can injure our shoulder a number of ways. Sometimes it's from an acute injury, and sometimes it's just from an accumulation of our daily activities. Small injuries that we don't even realize are significant can lead to small tears or small damage. That can lead to instability, which allows excess motion in the joint, and can lead to additional wear and tear on the ligaments, tendons, the labrum, as well as the cartilage in the joint itself. In traditional orthopedics, shoulder complaints are dealt with via steroids or surgery. Steroids are a powerful anti-inflammatory that make the joint feel better, but they actually can worsen the problem. They can be toxic to the cartilage, they can weaken the ligaments and the tendons, and they actually can damage the normal stem cells we have in those areas. Surgery is oftentimes recommended for a lot of these kind of problems, but many times it's overkill. Rotator cuff repairs have a high incidence of re-tearing, especially as patients get older. And just because you have a surgery done doesn't mean the pain's gonna go away. So Regenex procedures can help shoulder pain in a number of ways. One of those is through actual repair of torn or damaged tendons, ligaments, and labrum. It can also improve the chemical environment inside the joint. Oftentimes there's low level inflammation, which leads to some of the pain and is resistant to healing. The platelets and stem cells that we inject are able to change that composition of the fluid and change it from an inflammatory environment to a more healing environment, allowing that repair to happen. Platelets, which are drawn from our blood, can be helpful for smaller problems like rotator cuff tendonitis, tendinosis, bursitis, and even small tears of ligaments, tendons, and labrum, as well as early arthritis. More advanced problems need a bigger, more powerful tool, and that's when the stem cells come into play. Those are more appropriate for larger tears as well as more advanced arthritis.